let's just jump straight into it. So what would be an example of, as you say, a parasitic idea? Sure. So the, the, the granddaddy of them all would probably be postmodernism, because in a sense, it is the perfect uh, virus of intellectual terrorism or nihilism, because it basically posits that there are no objective truths. Everything is constrained by subjectivity, by the personal biases of whomever is doing the exploration. Now, the problem is that scientists do wake up every day thinking that there are universal truths to be discovered. Now, something that is true 300 years ago, scientifically, might be updated and no longer be true. So, we, so in science, we talk about provisional truths. So when we say truth, we don't mean that it is revealed truth, as would be the case in, science, in uh, religion. But we do wake up every day thinking, well, there is a universal human nature that we might want to study as evolutionary psychologists. Well, postmodernism completely shatters that idea. And so I compare postmodernists to the 9-11 uh, guys. So the 9-11 folks, because they were zealots of their ideology, flew planes onto buildings. Well, postmodernists fly planes of bullshit onto our edifices of reason and slowly destroy everything that has made, you know, the scientific method and, 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 and you know, other such epistemological approaches completely irrelevant because, hey, it's all subjective. I'll, I'll give you maybe a quick story. Uh, some of your viewers might not be familiar with it. Others may, but it's still worth hearing if they know it. In 2002, uh, one of my doctoral students had just defended his dissertation and uh, we had gone out for a ce celebratory dinner, myself, my wife, him and his, his date for the evening, somebody that he was dating. And he had warned me ahead of time that that particular individual, the date in question, was a graduate student in cultural anthropology, postmodernism, and feminism. So sort of a holy, holy trinity of bullshit. The dark triad. <laughs> the dark triad. And so he was sort of telling me, hey, let's, let's not get too heavy. Let's have fun. I said, oh, you got it. Mum's the word. I'm going to be on my best behavior, which of course was nonsense. I wasn't going to be on my best behavior. And so about halfway through the dinner, I very gingerly, very politely said, oh, you know, I hear that you are a postmodernist. Do you mind if, so there are no universal truths, correct? Yes, none. Okay, well, do you mind if I propose what I think are universal truths and then you can tell me how you would think otherwise? She goes, yes, absolutely, go for it. Uh, okay, well, within Homo sapiens, only women bear children. Is that not a human universal? Is that not true? Can we not take that to the bank? Absolutely not. What a stupid thing to say. Oh, really? How's that? Well, there is a Japanese tribe off some island where within their mythological narrative, within their folklore, it is the men who bear children. So by you restricting it to the biological realm, that's how you keep us barefoot and pregnant. Once I recovered from my mini stroke, I then said to her, okay, uh, how about uh, we take a less contentious example, one that's not as laden with you know, animus as saying that only women bear children. She goes, go for it. Well, is it true that from the vantage point of anywhere on earth, Sailors have relied since time immemorial that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west, to which she, there she used what's called deconstructionism. She said, well, what do you mean by east and west? Those are just labels. And what do you mean by sun, that which you call the sun, I call dancing hyena, to which I answered, well, the dancing hyena rises in the east and sets in the west. And then she said, well, I don't play these label games. So the reason why I always repeat the story, because she wasn't an anomaly. She wasn't an outlier. She was just aping what, you know, 30, 40 years of this kind of bullshit training, training has caused people to do, which is reject that there is something called the sun, reject that women bear children and so on. So it's not a good epistemological trajectory to take. So that would be the top idea pathogen. If you have time and you want to discuss others, I'd be happy to.